Article 28, to see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to contract with Snowfields Productions to expend up to up 30,000, 30% of town revenues received from cable TV franchise fees to provide a town of Carabasset Valley marketing and promotional program on terms and conditions the board deems to be in the best interest of the town, recommended by the budget committee. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded in the discussion. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'd like to make an amendment to this article. In order to increase the transparency of the town with the select board meetings and other things, I would like to propose the following amendment. That the town should use a portion of the cable franchise fees to purchase and or upgrade the audiovisual equipment and to provide a technician to record all select board, planning board, appeals boards, public hearings, town meetings, and to require the local public access cable station to broadcast these meetings. Also that the town shall archive and maintain a record of all these meetings at the town's website for public viewing. It's after date of July 1st, 2022. Is there a second to that motion? Yes, sir. Is there a discussion? Can I explain that we're a leased access channel? We are not a public access channel. Yeah. We are leased access from Spectrum Charter. So that well, would be different. The town could purchase the time from you. The town could also view this on other social medias or media things of people in the town who can't come to these meetings, can't go to the select board meetings that are for the jury, would have an opportunity to view these meetings at their time that they could see them. And it would be an adequate and a completely total transparent thing for what goes on with the town, with the planning board, the select board, and the appeals boards. Is there any other discussion? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I would like to say I went to the I went to the uh, select board meeting on Monday afternoon, and Mr. Cotler said that he wanted to be extremely transparent, and they wanted to be transparent. Mr. Volpre said we want to do the right thing here. Well, doing the right thing for this town would be putting these meetings on. So everybody can see them all the time. And by archiving these in the, in the town's website, you could go back if you had an issue with something that might have happened a year ago, you could go back and you can actually see what happened in these meetings. Being transparent will bring this town back into where a lot of towns are. If you go to some of the municipalities around the state, you'll find that these meetings are all taped they're all taken and put in archives so you can go back and have a record. Now, I know on the meeting on Monday night, there was, uh, there was a problem with the, uh, just doing the minutes of the meeting where Karen Campbell had to have them go back in and straighten out some of the things because they didn't even have what she thought should have been the accurate minutes of the meeting. So this is, this is just not for, you know, the town, it's for the people in this town. So they will actually know that there's a record of everything that goes on and it makes it easier so if you need to have anything you need to go back on, there's a record of it. And it's extremely, what? Do you know what's happening? Yeah, really, so you know what's happening. And it, it, I don't know why anybody would be against transparency. You guys get, what, $32,000 a year in cable fees? Am I correct? And they're giving, giving them like 10,000, a third of it. Well, there's a lot of money left over that could do this. It would probably make it easier for like, some of the things you're trying to do right now with where we are on this town line, to let the people know what's going on. There's a lot of people don't even know what's going on. And that's a very important thing, to be transparent and move this town up with a lot of other towns by having very transparent meetings. Thank you. Is there other discussion? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we, there's a Zoom link for our meetings, is there not? 
I'm sorry, what was that? There's a Zoom, a Zoom link or some sort of link. Yeah, we have a Zoom link. Anybody can, <coughs> can, can access. Anybody can access any of the meetings. We had, I think, what uh, what he's referring to is uh, we had a problem with the minutes, and that was somewhat unusual, quite frankly, because the we had a problem with the with the Zoom equipment, and, and it's not perfect. But it is what most communities are using now. It's called an hour. It's electronic Zoom equipment. Zoom. And, and we do have, anybody can come into our selectors meetings or planning board meetings and they're all, all they've got to do is hit the link and they can, and they can, and they can, you know, zoom into the meetings. Uh, we and also link is do. Right on our, our website, correct? That, that's right. It's posted okay. on the website. So I think those are the only two committees, just the, I mean, I mean was, no, I, even the, the coalition meetings, that's not really a town committee. Um, they're, um, you know. You can so you can hit the link and, and view the and view the meetings. Yes, and the, and, the, and in fact the meetings are recorded. Uh, uh, there's a there's a there's a recording that's also done as part of that. I mean what what he is suggesting is of course much expanded, uh, and because the folks want that, we can certainly do it. But um, that's where we are. Yeah, uh, the Zoom meetings are something that really become popular since. You know, COVID-19, those are live. There's a lot of times you want to have a record to go back on. I know like when, you know, when the mountain took it, just got their uh, permits and all that stuff, there's a lot of people, they can't go to the, let's say, to planning board meetings. Maybe they couldn't go to the Zoom meetings. But to have an actual recorded record and maintain these records for the town, it's protection also for the town. You know, it is. It's, it's just not protection for anybody. It's protection for you. It's, it's protection for everybody, and it shows a record. And every, it seems to me that, you know, there's a lot of towns out there. This is what they do. And it's not that way you can say we're open, we're transparent. We're not a closed-door organization. And that's what you don't want. At least that's not what I want. I just want to clarify something. As far as the actual legal record is concerned, those are the minutes of the meeting. That what you're referring to is a Zoom, it's a video, and it's not, that's not a legal recording of the meeting. Every one of the selectors meetings and the planning board meetings, I'm not, I'm not trying to argue, okay? I'm just trying to tell you, the legal record of the meeting is the minutes of the meeting that then gets approved well, by yeah, each of the boards. Let me finish. Okay. So those are then posted in the, in the next selectman and planning board meeting so that everybody can see them. And they're actually posted on the town's website so everybody can see them. I'm just saying, those are the official records, and anybody can come in any time or call, and they can get access to minutes of any uh, public meeting. Well, that's why I said last Monday, yep. Karen was questioning the minutes from the meeting before because you guys didn't have it right. Well, no, we, the, we had, you, we you had problems. Have, let me finish. Yeah. You didn't have everything in there. If you have these meetings that are recorded, you can all take and get on the internet, and you can read, you can sit there, you can look, and you can see what, who said what, and it actually protects the person who goes there. And anyways, you, you know, it, it helps everybody. It's a, it's, I don't know why anybody would be opposed to taking and, and recording these things, putting them on the website, so people could actually look. I mean, if you don't want to do something like that, that people here don't want to vote on that, it's, you know, and don't want to do it, I don't know, but, you know, I, I hope that when we've got this camera on you guys and you all sit there and if you don't vote for being, you know, being a part of it, you know. Okay, so last board meeting, Monday, yes, I did um, ask for a correction in the minutes because something was missing. We did have that prior meeting. We had an issue with the with the hour, and things got messed up. That's not the usual way that we operate. Usually, I'll correct minutes, like you know, somebody's name or some wording. But there was a there was my statement that got left out that I thought should be in there. So that's why I corrected the minutes. I don't think that we're not being transparent. I don't know what it would cost to do what you're saying to do, David, but I think maybe we should we could look into it. I don't I don't know if we want to vote on it right now. I don't think that we weren't being transparent. I just wanted to correct the minutes. 
Well, I, I would, I would uh, not argue with that. <coughs> what you said in that meeting was you said that Tommy Tanners had all talk, who was a builder in the, you know, was yes. a builder and living here, made quite a few comments, and yes. his name was totally omitted from that. Well, so I, that's that's a fact. Yes. It's not a that that's not correct. Right, that's a fact. That's because we have trouble with the aisle, and I'm writing up minutes that are going to be amended because we didn't approve those minutes because I didn't allow them to be approved. They're going to be fixed and his statements are going in because I remember too much stuff and it's going to go in there because I'm the owl from that meeting. On the archives, yeah. push it on and actually watch the meeting as it happened. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. I mean, that's transparency. Yeah. I don't agree with the transparency comments. I think the town does what is required. I think it's a good thing to discuss. I don't think it's pertinent to this town meeting, but I don't think it's a transparency issue. I think the town does what they're legally obliged to do as far as the meeting minutes and recording the audio of the meeting. And I think that's something we can look forward into in 2023. But I disagree with the transparency thing. This is a good board and this is a very well run town and I think we can definitely improve things, but there is many ways to get information and be involved with a select board meeting, a planning board meeting, or whatever it's going to be. Well, Mr. Cutler is the one that said we want to be really transparent. I think he's working well, on it. That's the second time you've quoted me. And remember what that transparency discussion was about. Yes. We as a board were being accused of going behind the back of the town to discuss land. Let me finish, okay? 18 months ago, we put together a group, which is the Western, it's, it's a coalition of all the towns from Eustis all the way down to Kingfield, because we looked at housing as a crisis, and it is. And you can't turn on the TV without hearing about it everywhere in the state of Maine. So we put together a coalition to discuss how we could work together and try to solve this housing problem. We spent 18 months going to the county commissioners as a group, and we testified before them and we finally got $300,000 of opera money to fund our nonprofit, which is the Western Maine Housing Coalition. John Bopre, the other selectman, is chairman of that. And what we basically did is all the towns were looking in within themselves and what can we do to solve this? Town of Kingfield came up with the Jordan Law, which still is probably the number one pick at this point. We actually have a PNS on the Jordan lot, which is seven acres by, by Dollar General. I'm gonna go through this as quick as I can because I think you need to understand the context that you keep referring to transparency. Many of us have been on this board for way longer than we should, and transparency has never, ever come up. I know that we see each other in town all the time. If someone has a question, ask. I remember Jay made the comment at that meeting, it is so good to see all these people here at the last selectman's meeting, because that's what we want. We want people to watch and to contribute to our meetings. And that's basically what's going on. There's nothing subversive going on. Somebody took, again, everybody put in something that, that they could do to solve this crisis. And the only thing we could come up, we have very little town land. We have a large chunk of recreational land, 2,200 acres, let me finish. We have 2,200 acres of land which is severely restricted by deed. What we had done before to have the adaptive center be in that piece of land was go to the, the, the legislature and ask them if they would allow the adaptive center and, and remove that restriction for that. They did that. What was done about two or three months ago was met with legislators and said, would you consider if, if we were to try to take out eight acres out of that 2,200 acres and build affordable housing or workforce housing, would you also look at that as something that we could do? 
We have no answer on that at this point. Legislative takes a long time. What has happened, which is disturbing to me, is this whole area, this whole discussion has turned into an internet phenom that we are doing all this behind the back of the town. We have so many votes that would have to occur before we could even put a shovel in the ground that have to go before the town. We've had a town meeting about contract zoning. We had a good group again there. That was an open meeting. We, we do everything we do, we have to go before the town. So the transparency that I spoke of, that's there. That has always been there. If somebody needs to know more than what the minutes say, ask. I'm sure Dave, the code enforcement officer, or any of us can answer, here's what happened. So I do take that personal because we are transparent. We're not perfect. We're far from perfect. We're part-time. However, we are up front with the community. We always have been, and we welcome, if we get to the point where we're actually going to do something in terms of building, acquiring land, going to the legislature, we always go to the town first for a town vote. That's how the system works. I think you're trying to make something out of this amendment that I did not propose. I'm not talking about lowering the housing for the workforce or affordable housing. This doesn't have to do with that. What this amendment would do would be to increase the visibility of the boards, the planning boards, the appeal boards, the town meetings, public hearings, so everybody in the town would have an equal opportunity to be able to view these, maybe not in real time. Maybe I'm working at 4.30 in the afternoon on Mondays, and I can't go join the Zoom meeting to see what's happened. But I might be interested to see what happened, that I could then go to your town website, click on a link in the privacy of my home, and see what the meeting was, see what was said, see what the different board members or the planning board members had to say about it. This is all about being able to just bring this town up to the standards of other towns that are already recording their meetings. And it's like a no-brainer for these towns now. Many of them did it kicking and screaming because they didn't want to have to do it. But after they've started doing it, and now they love it. They have all their meetings are on there. Anybody at any time can go to their websites, can click on a meeting, can see what was said, they can go back one year, two years, three years, click on a meeting and see what was actually said. And I think that having, when I say transparency, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm talking about being able to, to know exactly what was said in a meeting, who said what, what was the tone of the meeting? Was it a nice cordial meeting? Was there some some heated discussions about things. These are things that you don't get from the minutes. And I'm not trying to imply that this would override the official um, min minutes of the town meetings, because I realize that, it would not. Your minutes are the official record. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being able to find out what's going on in the town without having to come down to the town office. Maybe I can't make it down to the town office. Maybe I can't do these things that you're saying, oh, well, just give us a call. Maybe I want to do these things in the privacy of my home. And I think it would really suit the town well if we were to have these meetings, have public access to these meetings on the website so that everybody in the town would have an equal opportunity to see these meetings. Yes, sir, did you want to say something? I think what I heard Jermaine to the, the amendment is uh, I think Dave said these obviously it's on zoom call zoom meeting but that those are you're using the record feature in the zoom meeting that zoom meeting has so these are being recorded currently and so I, 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 yeah, I guess I really don't see the need to support this amendment because this is already happening the only thing that's not happening is those recordings being available on what the, avail what the availability of those recordings are. 
Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Yeah, I mean, you no, know, I, I think you know over time. I think we can look at it over the following year. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you right now. We obviously haven't researched. I haven't researched this, but it, I, it seems certainly doable. But we would, you know, we'd want to research it and let to find out. That would mean that all the boards would it, things would, they'd all have to have an hour and have to go through all the meetings. But I mean, it, you know, can it be done? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we're already doing it. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we are doing it. I mean, we are. Well, not all of the committees. I mean, the, the planning board and the select board are probably the only two committees I'm aware of that are actually getting recorded. If that's what you mean, there are other committees within the town. There are several. But, um. Am I able to access the Zoom meetings at any time from the website? I think if you ask, we could. We if could. I do. Ask. No, yeah. that's not what I asked. No, no that, to answer your question, no. Why would you not want to? I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not, it's up to these I mean, people no, here. Why would you want to have this? I'm just answering your questions. To the town. I mean, it's our town. <coughs> we should be able to have this type of access. Good time to look at this. Jigs? Sir, I have two, two questions. One, and maybe I missed this, you know, I'm over 30. <laughs> uh, how much is it going to additionally cost to do what these two, these guys want? <laughs> what? I think they've got mainly the equipment. But, but what's the additional what's cost? Mean? What's the cost? I don't think it's a big cost. I don't think it's a cost issue. It just, we have to, you know, all of the communities will need to, I'm sorry, my And, and the second, sec okay, get the cost out of it. And the second thing, isn't there going to be times when you may want your meetings to be confidential? <coughs> Not really? Yeah. Executive session. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. They shut the camera off. They shut the camera off. It's executive off. session, and that's a whole set of laws okay. by itself okay. what you can do okay. in executive session. So for the executive yes, session, you shut the cameras off. Yes, sir. I have a question about this. Um, Caravas and Valley Shield Old Town, um, we've had a property up here for 50 years, but we don't live here. So we're not intimately involved with the government that's here. So how many people in this town live in here or are into the mix versus people who, um, especially this property is growing incredible. Um, are outside the community, so they're they called transient, I don't know, whatever you would call it, that, but they still pay taxes, so we might have a vote on as to what, what's going on here. You guys are doing a great job of saying that, but I'm just, just the actual awareness, and there's a lot of stuff going on here that's building the town, and as, as the needs there, you individuals know is the needs are, but those needs can draw costs. So I'm just wondering that more people informed might make things easier actually in the long run. What's your name? Jeff. Mm -hmm. Jeff. For the record, thank you. My parents own property 3,800. Deb? So I've always had the opportunity to go into this like four minutes when I needed to transcribe particular items. I've always had the opportunity to go into the vault to look at the public records to transcribe that. I'm not quite sure this is a difficult situation, but I think if we continue to record meetings the way we've done, I don't see it a problem to archive these things. I'm not necessarily saying where they are attainable, but my access has always been, and I have gone through the records a number of times to document so I don't think this is as hard as we think it, it's going to be. And I'm familiar with what goes on in places like Cape Elizabeth and Warren has their own archives with their own cable uh, network. But I think it's something that's worthy because we need to do, I need to do a better job of the record to transcribe. We transcribe, but we don't record. We probably should be recording all of our meetings that same thing with our comprehensive planning meetings. Um, I mean, that's up to the town to adopt a policy to decide how they want to conduct their meetings. But um, I have had success. Wendy has been great uh, with giving me access when I needed to transcribe the old 
Conservation Commission meeting minutes into the evolution of the Recreation Committee. Um, so I think there's there's a possibility. So uh, I, I, I don't pretend to be any bit of a, a Zoom expert. Uh, I've been involved in, in many Zoom uh, meetings uh, through many EMS of the Fire Chief and Emergency Management. Uh, there's two types of Zoom. There's the free Zoom that you're very limited in, in minutes that you can use. There's the paid account, which the town has a paid account Zoom. And as a paid account, you have the ability to uh, archive all of those meetings on their iCloud, Zoom's iCloud, that are shareable. So it's simply setting that up. There's no equipment. I mean, I don't see that this long motion that's been made, uh, you know, needs to be necessarily voted upon. I think the message is out. You know, how can we access this? But the Zoom meetings are are recorded and shareable through iCloud. So if you're going to if you're going to access that, with, you know, if you're going to access any type of archive, you've got to do it on a computer. So it's pretty straightforward. Is it appropriate for me to say something? Yes, it is. <laughs> sure. Okay. So this, there's a lot that goes on in the background of this Zoom world that isn't um, obvious, it seems convenient, it seems really easy when it works. Um, there's many little, many little things that happen on the background where it causes us to have inefficiencies there. And there's a big world in getting this done. It's not like flipping a switch or just downloading it onto the website. So. Um, I, is it appropriate to make a motion to um, change your motion and research this and then bring it forward in a meeting so that we could possibly get this done but do it well and do it right? There's already an amendment to a motion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dave? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I understand about the Zoom thing and everything, but I'll tell you. You can have it on Zoom, and there'll be so many people that'll see it. But Nadine's right there with the camera. And when she takes that and puts that on WSKI, there's a lot of people that are going to see what's happening here tonight. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not throwing rocks at you guys and saying that you're hiding anything. I'm just trying to talk about transparency. And when they will, all the people that are going to be watching this on SKI, when they pre present this on, you know, on their network, there's a lot of people that will see this. And isn't that what we really want? It's for people, when you, make good, when you make good ideas, like when you're talking about building, you know, not to bring up the thing, building housing and doing stuff, isn't that what we want? We want the people to be involved. Maybe you'll find somebody, I don't know, just over there talking about 3,000 acres. You might find somebody who's got some land somewhere. So it can actually could benefit the town. You know, it really could. It could benefit the town. So I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing like having somebody with a camera that takes, videos it, and then takes and plays it, you know, on, on a cable network or, or however you want to. I mean, it's, it's something, you know, I, I don't expect us to leave here and start hammering, you know, hammering out, uh, you know, uh, videos next week. This is something that, you know, it, it's going to take some time to do, but it's well worth it. It's well worth having these archives and to have this stuff broadcast on a local cable network so the people here can see it. The people you talk about, and I know that, I'm not picking it again, but you was telling me how there's people in, in Stratton and there's people in Kingfield and you're trying to put this thing together. Wouldn't you like to see them, see you guys talking about you down here trying to get land so you can also have housing for the, you know, to do your part, because you, you told me, you says, because you, you and I had this conversation, that you're out there trying to work and you didn't want these other towns to know you wasn't. All the people down in these other towns, they'll see that. They might not get on Zoom, but they would see it if it was broadcast. And that's sort of where, I, where I'm going. It's not just 
archiving these things on a Zoom. It's, it's actually putting stuff out there so people can see what's going on. We got a great town. We got a great, great town. It's fun to live here. You know, I don't want to piss too many people off on it, but I think this is, I think this helps us move into the, into the future. I did this 20, 25 years ago in a town that was, they was transparent, they did stuff, but it helped make, change that town down there. Thank you, Dave. Changed it. They made it so it was so much better that everybody knew what was going on and they went to the meetings. They knew it was, they'd go to the meetings. Isn't that, isn't that what you wanted? I know that's what, that's what John said the other day. He wanted it. He says, this is great. He says, look at all these people out here. Well, this is a way to get those people in there. You know, Thank you, Dave. Looking at, not looking at another computer screen. You know. Thank you. We made your point. Thank you. I'd like to move the question. Okay, the que there's been a motion to move the question. It needs a second. Yeah, it needs a second. Right. Uh, the question um, is, is the amendment to the motion. Yes. Uh, all in favor? Oh, it takes a two thirds vote to approve the motion, correct? It takes a two thirds vote. You're just voting on the motion, which is to move the question. You're not voting on the amendment. Which question? You're voting on the amendment. No, 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 no. No, we're not voting. <coughs> we're voting on moving the motion forward. Do, 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 we, do we stop discussion? Okay. Correct. Right. Right. That so takes a two thirds vote. It just stops the debate. Yeah, right. that's correct. That's the motion. It's a two thirds vote. So, I'm all in favor of. There was a second, there was a second on that. The yes, there was a second. Should we hear the motion again? Just no, 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 yeah, the motion is to move the question. That's what you're voting on, not whether or not you agree with the amendment or not. It takes no, nothing sorry. to do with the amendment. Nothing to do with the amendment. It's, it's, not, amendment. it's not debatable. <laughs> Correct. <Sorry. laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> All right, that, that was clearly was two, more than two thirds. The motion. To move the question is, is adopted. Uh, we now move to the amendment to the main motion. Is there? Um, that's been moved and seconded. No discussion. So we're through talking about the amendment. All in favor of it? Any opposed? Aye. Aye. All right, the amendment doesn't carry. Now we're back to the main motion, which was $589,800. No, it was no. Article no, $28,000. We're back to Article 28, which was recommended by the Budget Committee a long time ago. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Article 29, to see if the town will vote to authorize the select board on behalf of the town to apply for, accept, expend federal, state, and other sources or, or, or grants and revenues for town purposes during the fiscal year 2023, and to authorize the select board to enter into agreements to implement grant awards. This does not include any monetary local match the town may need for these grants. Select the select board recommends approval. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's adopted. Article 30 to see if the town will vote to appropriate funds from overlay for abatements and overdrafts. The select board recommends approval. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor? Any opposed? I think 
think the dean wanted to say something about, did you want to address that issue with WSKI? As we move into the digital world, cable will be going away. And I'm aware that Roku doesn't get us. So if anybody has issues with WSKI being available, I want to hear about it so I can pass it on to my colleagues down at Spectrum in Portland, please. They're working with us to resolve it. It's a state issue. All the community TV association channels have been left off of what digital offerings there are. Comcast is doing it, Spectrum isn't it? So we'll win this eventually. But if anybody wants to give me a holler, WSKI TV at WSKITV.com. If you write it down, I can then copy and paste it and send it down the pipe. So appreciate hearing from you and wanting you to know we're working on it. Thanks. Thank you. Madam Clerk, is there any other business to come before the meeting? Should we announce the winners of the election today? No, oh, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> there was no one that was, no one, um, no one lost. Everyone won. <laughs> <laughs>